So we're getting there. We've been going for about 20 minutes now, I suppose. And the plan is to get rid of all this soil, this soil mound that's through here. So I've got some big old um, diesel comma TS3 engines I want to store here. This is out the back of my workshop where I store all my all my scrap metal and junk engines and bits and pieces. So um, yeah, we want to get rid of the soil and uh, make a nice pile of it over there like I have been doing. And uh, so far the, the little Chinese tractor is doing good. So we will keep going. Okay, well I think that's um, enough dirt out of here. I've gone a bit low where the, uh, where the tractor's parked. So by the time I back blade the rest in, should be a level enough area to store the engines on. So being a, a, a tip bucket, I need to work out a way of um, holding the bucket down so that I can, I can back blade with it. So I'll figure I'll drop some logs in behind it lift it up, tip it, put a few logs in behind it and then I should be able to back blade with it. And we'll get this nice and level and that'll be the next job. Alright, I think that should do. I've um, put a block of wood in the back to stop the bucket from tipping up as I back blade to level or forward blade in the case of this little tractor uh, and I've added a load of weights to, to give it some weight. So let's see how this goes. It might be a little bit of raking just to finish it by hand which I hate but we'll get most of it done with this, I think.
Well, that's a pile of dirt gone. And it's roughly level. I'll hit it with a rake. Um, at a later date, I'll get a, a truckload of gravel in here and gravel all through this. And the plan is to extend the, this building out this way. There's the TS3 engine sitting under tarps there. We've got new covers for them. We're going to bring them out the back here. Those engines are my parts engines at the moment. Um, but I may restore one of them. I've got one fully restored and running, and you can see that on my channel. Um, but what we'll do is we'll, we'll bring them out here, and we'll stack them on the sand. I'll just rake this a bit level by hand first. Well, here's the dirt that the tractor has, uh, has dug out of there, mounded into a pile, which I've pushed up with the back bucket. Um, I'm really impressed, actually, with the little tractor. Uh, that little engine is, uh, seems to have plenty of power. It's let down a little bit by the um, by the fact that the tractor is only light, so you have to take a couple of stabs to fill the bucket, and also that bucket is really designed for a much bigger tractor. That's actually quite an old bucket I've put on there that I've sort of fixed up. Some of you might be wondering how the tractor's cooling system is going um, on this engine, because it's a bit of an unusual tractor. It's a Chinese uh, a tractor I picked up for only $2,000. Um, and <clears throat> if you haven't seen the first video on this, it tells you a little bit more about it. And it has a, uh, a reservoir cooling system, uh, a bit like the Hit Miss engines. It's a uh, diesel engine. And I mean, that's, this has been going now for two and a half, three hours, and this is, I can touch it, it's not even that hot. Temperature is... Just pushing up to 70 degrees. Mm, I don't know how accurate that is. That's not very hot at all. So it's running really well. This is a, a full tank of diesel. It's still more than three quarters full. And it only holds about 10 litres. Uh, I think it's a 22 horsepower. It's a horizontal um, diesel engine. So it's a bit like the really old fashioned uh, big diesel engines from the turn of the last century you know the big flywheel on the side and the... but these are these are Chinese industrial they still make them and use them in many third world countries uh, they're used in agriculture forestry building construction all sorts of things um, and they seem to be pretty reliable so this is my first attempt to any form of earthworks and I'm pretty happy with it I mean you know I'm not disappointed like I say it's a lot better than digging that out by shovel um, so now we'll go get the TS3 engines, and I'll show you what they are. Uh, they're very heavy. They're about uh, 400 to 500 kilos each. These are common TS3 engines. They're a, uh, the TS stands for Tilling Stevens. It was a part of the Roots Group during the 1950s and 60s. And um, these engines were installed into large diesel trucks. Um, and... Uh, they consist of three cylinders, each cylinder consisting of two pistons, horizontally opposed. Uh, if you have a look on my channel, there's more information on these, and I have um, one of these fully operational, and uh, a video on the restoration of one. So we're going to get the tractor and shift them to their new home. I've put some forks on the back of the little tractor. I welded these up just a, a day or so ago, um, just for this job. They're made just out of scrap steel, so it's going to be interesting to see how they go with the weight. But I think they'll be okay. Okay, so that's it. They're in their new home. The little tractor performed brilliant. Um, she's got quite a slap to her, that engine, but it, uh, 
that's the way they sound and it, it runs beautiful I, I love it um, certainly beat digging this area out by hand that's for sure so thanks so much for watching have a great day guys see you next time